Nick Cannon, mornings on Power 106. It's time for up close and personal conversations. Yes, close conversations one-on-one -on -one with people that I admire, fixtures in the game, and brothers that's just doing big things. And this guy is doing all of the above and so much more. Uh, actor, entertainer, CEO, entrepreneur, Robert Richard, my brother, good to see you. My brother right here. I feel like I got to give an intro to Nick Cannon right here, the Renaissance oh, man, man right here. Stop it, stop Holding it, it down. So man. it's good to be in the neighborhood. That's man, right. it's awesome. And, and you come bearing gifts. Like, I, I haven't even opened it yet, but I see, obviously, man, you're the CEO of EPM Products. And, and I, I want to get into all of that as well as the acting and just to catch up, man. But should I should I pop this open? Yeah, this? pop that open. Right. So that's no. a gift for you. Um, It's nice. really actually for your kids. I know oh, okay. that. Okay. With parents, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You're managing your kids and whatnot, and uh, it's called Calm. Okay. Um, And you can use it for your kids for any sort of anxious feelings that they want to help help with rest and whatnot. You can use it on yourself. You can use it on the lady in your life. Um, Dope. It's amazing. It's uh, it's all active ingredients. It's made with all earth. So let's talk about EPM for a second, because most people may know you just mainly from all of your roles, from the movies that you starred in, from your television shows. Uh, But now you stepping into the space of healing and obviously, you, you're, you're a fitness guy as well. How did all of this come about? And what is EPM it, to, to sum it all up? Yeah, for sure. So the way that I kind of got into health was actually through a broken heart. You know how it wow. goes. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Facts. You, you know, a broken heart can break you down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I tried to figure out how to build myself back up. And then I realized that you can't do this thing alone. Like, right, we're right. We're all looking out for each other. you got to pull one as you climb. Facts. So I just used that as a motivation to start helping others. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. There was a woman that I came across. She was 400 pounds and she never known fitness in her life. Wow, wow. And she had all the excuses or limitations that we all experienced which like low income family like had multiple kids like, you know what I'm saying and didn't know where to begin and so I sort of sort of held her hand and this wasn't you was dating this woman or this was, no I just came oh, across oh, this was her, came across her yeah. while having a broken heart yeah exactly I right, just okay. came across this lady and so um, we started getting doing this highway fit thing, this ten minute workout right and she ended up losing like two hundred and fifty pounds wow. wow. That's and crazy. so I realized, like, okay, this is something that works for everybody. Yeah. And I really kind of got, and I love people. So I yeah, just started, yeah. like, doing this. And then from that, I felt more responsible to start talking about nutrition. And then, right. you know, th I met this lady who was a microbiologist, and she was a boxer. Okay. And she said she walked into the drugstore, and she saw everything on the shelf made with minimal active ingredients and a bunch of other inactive ingredients. Right. And I was like, what if you had like healing products that were made which is all active ingredients? No right. like fluff and no filler. Right. So we just got to it and that's where Elite Performance Medicine came from, which is uh, EPM. Wow, man. And, and and I've been seeing you online even with and even like some of your workout stuff where you say you don't really touch the weights too much. You just you can get it all done naturally. So natural is kind of your thing. Right, yeah, for sure. So, like, the whole thing with the weights was, you know, there's certain people who appreciate, you know, yeah. high-intensity workouts and, like, working out in the gym. Like, yeah. But there's 7 out of 10 Americans that are overweight or obese. Yeah. And that's, like, wow, that's me crazy medically, number. that's, like, 270 million people with a BMI of 25 or higher. Right. And I was trying to figure out what would be, like, the easiest way to take care of them yeah. where, like, they didn't have to go to the gym. They couldn't say, like, oh, it's too far or it's cold outside or I got kids or I don't have the time right just get rid of all those excuses right for just their health the general health yeah and so I got with my doctor and we sort of started this thing called highway fit which is about like your road your freedom nice man so all right so now you you're a CEO of a company super focused on on fitness and health and wellness but we know you from from your acting, man. Yeah. Like, and and it, that that doesn't stop. What you got going on in that space? Uh, so right now, um, if you go on Amazon right now, I have a movie called Bolden. Right now, it's okay. amazing. It's about the birth of jazz music. Okay. Um, and it's about this guy named Charles Buddy Bolden. Yeah. Who's essentially like R. Kelly, like 150 years ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's like making this great music but having all these other like social complications like yeah. has like a thousand uh baby mamas right right you know right saying fighting he's schizophrenic but he actually birthed jazz music which was the invention of the downbeat so yeah, that's yeah. rock and roll that's hip-hop that's r&b that's gospel this one man birthed that yeah, yeah, in yeah. new orleans and then i got four of the movies coming out i got a movie called california love about um jay hunter and the woman he fell in love with he's the head of hoover crip yeah yeah yeah. we heard um, about that yeah Dre is in that too right yeah, yeah. Drea, she kills it in the oh, movie oh really too. she's so fun shout out to Drea. That's love dope. you Drea. that's dope uh, Dre michelle um, and then I have uh, another horror movie coming out called Devour. I have another movie coming out called uh, Real Talk, directed by Preston Whitmore. And then I have another film coming out called My Brother's Keeper. That's, that's actually like a military movie that's faith-based. So 
That's so dope, man. And I don't think you get uh, enough credit uh, as a thespian, man. As somebody like even, you know, came up with you, man, watching you do your thing. I mean, you was probably one of the first people I ever seen hold an Emmy. Oh, the first Emmy I ever saw in real life was yours. Uh, and you was a kid, man, with uh, and working with Luke Gossett back in the day, right? And it's, it's crazy, man. Like, we all admire you, too, man. It's like we know that you put in hard work and then you sort of yeah. like reap what you sow. Right. And I think a lot of that gets lost sometimes in everyone's chase for Hollywood fame Facts. or, you know, so shout out to just like really our, like our generation, generation <laughs> that really had to beat the street and work really hard. And so yeah, I want to continue. It's so easy that. nowadays to, you know, a lot of people chase fame, but we, I think we weren't even in it for the fame. You know, it's kind of like, it was a community of just young kids being artists and, and, it shows that, that we can even sit here to this day and just talk about the longevity of being in the game 20 plus years yeah. and really just loving it. You know what I mean? And and, and still to be young and, you know, <laughs> yeah. keep, keeping it fly. I see you working out. I see your stuff. <laughs> Trying to, Show you the know, guns. Yeah, because, uh, you know, I think even seeing the people that came before us, they kind of showed us the way. And I, I think it's almost like, to pass it on to that next generation because we're, it's this digital age where a lot of these cats just come in and because they have so many likes and they in it for the money and, and it, it gets lost. But I think we got to hold true to the art of it all. I think like, you know, specifically with like our generation, it's kind of like we saw the forefathers ahead of us and always wanted to like hold our own with them. Yeah. So whether it's Eddie Murphy or whether Back. it's Sidney Poitier, whether it's Denzel Washington, it's like you want to be in the room with them and then look at you with like a lot of admiration and respect. Like, Facts. way to continue to carry the torch yeah and you know with these kids now they sort of have a different motivation of how they do things and they don't really understand sort of like the legacy of the craft and the art of all the creativity yeah um but they're doing things in a different way and you gotta you know you, you can't be a dinosaur you gotta flow with them too and yeah get on twitch and get on tiktok and get on snapchat and yeah. get on all the things that their platform with you know? someone like yourself who is such a you know, accomplished actor and, and really takes your craft serious, does that stuff kind of get in the way? Or do you like, man, I got to go do shit on social media when, like, I, I want an Emmy. <laughs> like, you know, it's funny. I kind of want to put that back on you. You have kids, right? Right, right. So, like, your kids are into what they're into. Yeah, like, yeah, what, facts. Where, what platforms are they on? How are Just they? like you said, <laughs> YouTube, Twitch, like, all of that stuff. Right. And to me, I honestly, I look at it as like, oh, that's, that's what, the kids are doing right but when it's time to talk about film or or something when we're taking things a, a little more seriously it's those platforms are set up for that i, I will always respect the silver screen and what uh, right. a movie is supposed to be but i'll go make a, a silly tiktok or a youtube but i'm never going to equate someone who's a, a celebrity on youtube or twitch to someone who's taking the time to study the craft of acting. But you know, you kind of continue to move with like each generation. So like, I always said, I don't want to be a dinosaur. So that's right. like your parents being like, black and white television is better than color. <laughs> right, or like right, CDs right. is better than streaming. You're like, right. what are you talking about, yeah. right? And so like you as like a renaissance man, it's like if you look at a Michelangelo or look at a Da Vinci or look <laughs> at like one of the sculptors, they're like, I spent like years sculpting this sculpt. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah. like now kids are like, yo, I made this video in my living room and put it <laughs> out and got four million people to go see it right. in like an hour. Right. It's, it's a different kind of metric. It's a but, whole different but art important though yeah, yeah they're both important and so yeah, I, I look forward to hanging out with all the young people and the kids listening to the radio and whatever and be like let's make content together because you got to continue to move because the young people that's pop culture yeah, yeah yeah you know we made michael jackson it was like it was like everyone listening to mj back in the day was right. us as kids admiring him facts and so you got to kind of continue to move with, with with how the young kids move and you're definitely part of that generation from uh whether it was the show with you and kyla whether yeah. it was cousin skeeter whether it was like uh, all the stuff that people grew up to you know uh everything that you've done in the films what do you get recognized for the most what are people always saying like it's funny because like i feel like just sort of having so much in my in my in my um repertoire uh, yeah in my repertoire <laughs> that like in different circles is different things if i go to a, you know a black college it's like they love one-on-one -on -one. Yeah, yeah but if i go overseas they're like oh we love you in cis or we love you in house of wax or whatever yeah, so yeah. in different areas it's like different stuff you know what yeah, i mean like i had a, uh i went to a a golf community and like they love me from like touched by an angel i'm like <laughs> it's funny how they just yeah, pull yeah. my face from different areas you know but it's funny i go talk at universities all the time now and i have so much fun with the kids but it's just crazy like 
when you were in school, people said, like, pull out a pen. Yeah. If you tell these kids pull out their phone, bro, they're pulling out Snapchat. Like, yeah. they don't, when they say pull out their phone, it's like Snapchat. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's the reflex. And I'm yeah. like, that's interesting to learn how they think how of recording. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, and you do a lot of work uh, in the community and, and with at risk youth and at promise and things. Like, tell me a little bit about that and why, why are you so driven to, Go speak at schools and, and talk in the community. Right, yeah. So I'm from, uh, like, South Central Crenshaw, L.A., and um, I was, you know, considered an at-risk youth. And yeah. my teacher told me as a kid, you're going to end up a statistic. Yeah. And what that meant was in jail or have dead friends or being gang-like or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was involved in that. And just by the grace of God, I was walking down the street uh, in the Crenshaw area rival gang was there and dipped into a random building and it happened to be an acting school yeah. and that's how i began <laughs> so now i'm like yo young kids need something productive to do and it needs to be those places that exist that say hey let's take your energy that you have yeah. and put it to something productive yeah. and so now i'm a big advocate for that and i'm just building it up and i had a teacher in ohio said we don't use the word at risk we use the word at promise yeah I like i'm that. like man dude that just kind of like flipped the whole thing I like immediately that. and so now I got behind the African American Male Wellness Initiative. We're like getting like health screenings for all African American men because it's alarming how deficient our health is compared to all other men Facts. across the globe. And then with just young kids, it's like, you know, talking on their level and inspiring them. Man, that's so beautiful, man. I, I love what you're doing. I salute you. Continue to shine, King. We having that up close and personal conversation with Robert Rashad, the the CEO of EPM, uh, actor, uh, entertainer, extraordinaire. But I can't let you get up out of here without hitting this firing squad, man. I got the vest on for a reason. I'm gonna be shooting straight from the hip. Questions you just gotta answer them off the top of your head. All right, sounds good. However it goes, first question off top: Robert Rashad, would he rather be loved or feared? Oh, gotta be feared. Absolutely. The mm. next question. Let's go. <laughs> Pop. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, gangster. Uh, feet, uh, speaking of fear, what's Robert Richard's greatest fear? Uh, greatest fear, uh, probably dis disappointing my dad. That's probably my greatest wow. greatest fear. Yeah. That's real talk. Yeah, right yeah. There. My dad told me not to be afraid of anything, but probably disappointing him would probably be at the top of the list. All right, man. Uh, lightening it up a little bit. Favorite movie of all time? Ooh, Lion King. Listen, I'm gonna say this right now. For all the gangsters out there, <laughs> Lion King is. One of the most realest movies. First of all, yeah. I think that's that movie has more songs that everyone knows out of any, any movie. movie in history. That's facts. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's gangster, but that's facts. Oh, yo, hey, <laughs> Kuna Matata, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you can throw that in the rap song. That'll still be hot. Kuna Matata is <laughs> on some gangster shit. There you I go. Think. There you go. Uh, and then and I feel what you're saying, like the brother, the kings, like that's 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 some real that's 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 real they Shakespearean. They need to make like a like a like a gangster version of like Lion King. They they have. It's called Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> facts, uh, facts, facts. uh best piece of advice you've ever received. Uh pull one as you climb. Uh you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You gotta work hard, but nobody can do it alone. So you got to always kind of figure out who's next to you that you're like, hey, you're coming with me. As I climb up, you're coming with me. You know, that can be a best friend, family yeah, member, brother. None of us brother. as strong as all yeah, of us. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Straight up, yeah. All right. Uh, worst piece of advice you ever received? Ah, uh, worst piece of advice is probably just worrying about what the status quo is doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, n no one cares, you know what I mean? Like, you got to figure out what you're passionate about and figure out your own, you know, drive. And if you're worrying about what everyone else is doing, you're watching and not participating. Hey. You know, Elon Musk talks about that. Either you're doing it or you're watching it happen. So, yeah. I think that's probably the... Uh, we always talk about worst job, but you've been working since a kid. Have, yeah. have you ever had, like, a, a nine to five? Man, my first job was at roller at the Ward on Wheels roller skate. Oh, at Ward on I Wheels? Was a Guard at, uh, at, at, at wow, Ward on wheels. So, um, but I, you know, actually, I love the work, man. So, I've always been someone who just likes to commit on that to, like, grind. On that grind, you know, we were kids, man, we we're teenagers, we we're working like 60 hours a week at, Facts. at that age, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And now it's like you pretty much all of us have doubled that, yeah. You know I'm saying we're at like over 100 hours a week, all of us right now, and man. I don't see that slowing for any of us right now at all. Most prized possession, most prized possession, wow, uh, that's a deep question. Uh, I got a, a book from my grandfather, mm. um, and he wrote a really significant message that lives with me every single day. That's probably my, my most prized possession, and I keep that sort of in my mind. Oh, that took me down for a second. Yeah, no, nah, that's real. My, that's 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 a real that's a real one right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bring it back up. Favorite cuss word. Oh, the F word. This is the most versatile because <laughs> it's a noun and a verb and yeah. an adjective. You say and fuck a, for anything. A, a, fuck for anything, right? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be positive, negative, whatever you need. Absolutely. You're on an island. You only can take three things. What are you taking with you? Oh, the wheel. 
Uh, you taking a wheel? Yeah, <laughs> well, the greatest invention of all time is the wheel. Would you just it just uh, you assist gotta, you some kind hey, of way? Hey, listen, the wheel. Hey, people don't recognize. <laughs> so I, I'm I'm a nerd in parts of my you know life, whatever. And like yeah. I was looking at like the greatest inventions of all time. And the wheel is definitely the one wheel of them. is hot, bro. Yeah. That and optics like glasses. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now fire. I think fire is you, you create, harness. Yeah. You harness fire. So you can create you didn't, that. You didn't, it wasn't invented type yeah. thing. Right, and then the knife, right? Yeah, there you there go. You go. Three things you need. Wheel, optics, knife, wheel, and yeah, knife. Yeah, You're going to be all right. Because you can make fire with the optics, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then you figure out, you know, that's probably it. He's a very smart man here. Uh, now, you've been in the game for so long. I got to ask this. Even from childhood celebrity crush. Oh, I got to work with all of them. Yeah. I, got, I got Megan Good in my stable. Yeah. I got Kyla Pratt in my stable. <laughs> I got Jennifer Freeman in my stable. I, I got they going to be happy you saying they in, in your stable. They all, I'm, I'm, <laughs> You but know, you got we've chance. all matured at this yeah. point. But you know, I got to work with some of the you know most beautiful women of all. Th- like these are our. Yeah, I was saying you got to work with everybody's childhood celebrity crush. Absolutely, for sure. I mean, like for us, that's that's the Holly Berry and the yeah. Tyra. And the, you know, that's that's for us. That's everything. Absolutely. Uh, guilty pleasure. What's Robert Richard's guilty pleasure? Uh, guilty pleasure. Everyone knows I like to party. I like to stay up late. <laughs> I like to stay up late and I like to party. We've seen like you dance. in these streets clubbing, going Ooh. in. <laughs> Ooh, that's right, right. Um, all right, uh, top five actors of all time. Top five: uh, Denzel, Daniel Day Lewis, Sam Jackson, Jack Nicholson. One more, and probably Jamie Foxx. Really? Wow. That's I a, mean, Jamie's super. Big, J- Jamie Foxx is definitely the most talented person in the entertainment industry, if you ask me. I think so too. I don't know if I would call him my, put him in my top five as just actors, because that. I'm gonna be pulling in people like yeah. Lawrence Olivier, and and Marlon Brando, yeah, 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 like yeah. right, right. But definitely, hands down, there's no one more. the The two most talented people that I've ever met is Jamie Foxx and Chris Brown. Yeah, absolutely. I think just so that, too. That yeah. can just like do whatever. Yeah, they can do whatever. Yeah. But uh, doesn't Jamie have the f- the the quite the quite qual- the quality? Is he, is he is a uh, Tony yeah, Golden? Is it, I call it a goat. They, the call, goat, it, the goat, they call it, but they goat. actually call it a egot. I think they should just switch it, it yeah, around yeah, it's because it's like Grammy, Oscar, Tony, Tony and, and Emmy. Emmy. Yeah, he got yeah. the goat. Yeah, I know he has an Emmy. I know he has an Oscar. I think he went and he got has a, a Grammy. Tony. I don't know if he has a Tony. I think he yet. went and got a Tony. He, if not, it's on the way. And uh, is the project the 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 Mike Tyson project gonna? Arrive? He says it's gonna happen, I bro. Mean, the one know, with him and Michael B. Jordan just dropped. That's fire. So yeah. like he, Jamie's not stopping. Like he just he just a beast like that. And he can do everything. He can host. He can sing. Like you know what I'm saying, like yep. make, he's he's that guy. He's that definitely guy. the most talented person in the entertainment industry. I think he's underrated because he does so much. Yeah. I think that if he was like in one lane, like if he was only acting, yeah. you would see like more admiration yeah. for that. But and even can, like his his comedy, like people don't give him the credit for the level of comedy and what he's brought to the game of comedy. Just just Wanda alone, just his yeah. living color days alone. A lot of his roles are super iconic, bro. Yeah. yeah. A lot of his roles you can go at. For Halloween, shout out to Halloween people out yeah. there. Saying it's the fall, so yeah. And speaking of icons and legacies, uh, we always ask this last question in the Fire and Squad: one word that describes and defines Robert Richard. Oh, service. That's mm-hmm. it. I'm here to serve, man. You know what I'm saying you got to be of the people, man. It's like without, without, without us, all of us, it's it's nothing. It's pointless. So I say service is probably the biggest thing. It's beautiful, man. Such you, a man. pleasure. I love you, my bro. brother Robert Rashad in the building. Continue on EPM. Your acting, everything else, man. Keep shining out here. Appreciate that. Go to EPM Products. It's EPM Product X, and we're on Instagram. You can Google us. Websites EPM Product X. I love y'all. God bless. There it is. Nick Cannon Mornings on Power 106.